Hello and welcome to Amy Reads. So we are doing a non-traditional setup today. I'm holding my phone with my hand, so that's why it's shaky. Um, today I'm going to do a little tour of my children's bookshelf and also all of the toys that I have in my library. So I think I talked about this in a video before and asked if anybody was interested in seeing that and some of you said yes. So for those of you who care, um, I do tend to collect toys, either from my childhood or just things that I think are cool. Um, I've been given some of them. I've found them different places. Um, and then I do tend to get um, like books from my childhood. And some of them are like children's books. And then I have a big section of like Babysitter's Club and things like that. So you'll see those as well. Um, so I'm not going to be on camera, but I will be talking. Um, and we're just going to do like a handheld little vlog style uh, video. So here we go. So I'm actually going to start over here. Um, this shelf, as you can see, is a nightmare. And this shelf is actually not going to stay in this room. It's going to go in our guest room. But for the time being, it's in here. So I do have some toys on top of it. And I just wanted to show those to you. So I have two of the curvy Barbies. So a couple of years ago, they actually started doing like tall, petite, curvy, and they were all different. And as a fat woman, I was like, I have to get fat Barbies. So anyway, I got two of the curvy Barbies. <laughs> I also have two of these Halloween Barbies. I did get these on eBay, but as you can see, they're just Target. And I think they were actually a few years ago. Um, maybe 10 years ago, maybe not even that much. Um, this here is a little um, McDonald's <laughs> Happy Meal toy from back in the day. Um, I can't remember if this is the Barbie from Toy Story. I think this is just a Barbie one. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Um, so this little guy, this owl, and this Miss Piggy are like Disney vinyls. Um, as you can tell, they look like Mickey Mouse, except for they aren't. And I got these years ago at um, Downtown Disney, or now they call it Disney Springs. Um, and these were a hot commodity. So imagine like the Funko Pops now. Um, and everyone was like buying these and then you could go into other stores and trade them. I used to have a third somewhere. Um, and I frankly don't know where it went. But I had one that was looked like a tree. Um, but yeah, anyways. So these were like a big effing deal at the time. Um, I do have my little California Raisin figurines. Um, now, granted, I do realize in hindsight, the California Raisins gimmick was probably more than a little racist. Um, but I do love the California Raisins, um, specifically in the Claymation Christmas special. Um, so I had to get these. They were like a dollar a piece. Um, I particularly like this little surfer dude. Um, here I just have a little Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie Boogie. My friend Jamie's son, Ruslan, got that for me for Christmas because he loves Nightmare Before Christmas and so do I. Um, just some little Halloween Pez dispensers. These actually were ones that I bought for my father, um, because he also loved Halloween and um, he actually really loved Pez candy. Uh, and so, but I, they were just like cute little decorations for his room. So when my dad passed away and we went through his things, I actually just got, took those back because not only do I like them, but now they just, they make me think of him. Um, so they're, they're special to me. Um, just a picture of me and my friend Katie. <laughs> um, I'm gonna move this little Polly Pocket out of the way real quick. Um, some other little Pez. I, mean, I don't like collect Pez, but I thought these were really cute. These were like, um, this was last year at Target. They had like a ton of this like retro Disney, like Minnie and Mickey stuff. Um, and so anyway, I thought they were very cute. Um, this is an Ace Ventura doll. Don't even worry about it. Um, <laughs> with different heads. Isn't that incredible? I don't know if this is a NECA. It is NECA, yes. Um, my brother and sister-in-law got this for me for my birthday this year. We absolutely love Ace Ventura, like non-ironically love that movie um, and the sequel, frankly. Uh, let me show you this here, Polly Pocket. Now, if you watched my Contemporary-a-thon vlog, you saw me actually unbox this little baby. And um, 
I talked more about Polly Pockets, I feel like, in that video than any one person should. Um, but here you go. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. It lights up. It is fucking adorable. Look at this little horsey. Um, now, I did not have this one as a kid. Um, but a lot of you commented that you did have this one. And lucky you, because it is super cute. I think it's like Starlight Castle. I do like Polly Pockets, <laughs> um, and I did start kind of collecting them. They're very expensive, uh, so I'm definitely, like, not... I'm just, like, finding ones that are a good price and getting those. Like, there's no part of me that is trying to pay, like, $60 for a fucking Polly Pocket. So, anyway. Uh, and then I have these... I don't know. Uh, again, I was born in 1987, so um, some of you around my age may remember Eureka's Castle as a Nickelodeon show. Um, and also these particular Pizza Hut... That looks obscene. Finger, pu <laughs> finger puppets. That one's a little better. Um, that's just like a flesh color. That that looks like like when you get an endoscopy and they just show you like what your like esophagus looks like. Anyway, uh, so anyway, these are the Pizza Hut finger puppets or hand puppets, hand puppets, I guess. Um, for Eureka's Castle. Now I did have these as a kid. My brother and I did have these and I don't know where they went. Um, I actually found these two at an antique store in Chattanooga of all places and then ordered her on eBay because she was like five dollars. So now I have all three of them again. Um, this little guy up here I got my first trip to Philadelphia at just like a little boutique store and then back here I've got a couple of these little pocket pops. I got this like clearance. Um, at the time or that was like the only Ursula I could get because Ursula is so effing expensive. Well, now they've done like different ones and everything. Um, okay, so that is this shelf. So you can hear my my chair rolling back. Okay, so that's just the top of that shelf. Like I said, this down here, it's a nightmare. It's not ready to be anything. Um, this is my main toy and children's bookshelf. So here's the artwork that I have hanging above there. I have my Y'all Fest poster from my very first year at Y'all Fest in 2016. Um, I've got a woman diving into a donut. Love that print. Um, I believe that is She Can Lift a Horse on Etsy. I will link her down below. Uh, and then The Future is Bright was just a Target print. I'll go ahead and show you everything up on the top and then we will go look at the book. So here we have another Polly Pocket. <laughs> Because this is my life. Now, this one doesn't actually have anything with it. Um, but you can apparently flatten this out. And it's literally like a water park. And you can put water in here. And, like, theoretically, if you had little pollies, they could, like, float in there. Like, how cute is that, right? Um, so, I have these Batman Returns cars. These were um, definitely McDonald's toys. Uh, I have this little teeny tiny <laughs> little sheep. Um, I don't know the significance of this other than my father had this and he found it at like a flea market and he just liked it and he had it in his window, um, right above where he washes dishes in his kitchen and, um, I have kept it all these years. Um, and so it's, it's, it hides back here and it is just my little friend and I love it. Um, this is a book it pin. <laughs> So again, um, if you were of the Pizza Hut hand puppet era, you probably remember the Book It program that Pizza Hut did. Um, my brother actually got me this pin. It's probably not going to sit back up now. Uh, he got me this pin a few years ago. Sorry, I'm all over the place with my camera. Um, for my, Actually, for my 30th birthday, I believe, and I wore it on, at my party. Um, I did have a Book It pin at one point. Don't have it anymore, but I was part of the Book It program, so lifelong reader, you know. Uh, this here is my jar with all my pins and I have so many different pins. Some of them are enamel. Some of them are just like you can see there's a Rainbow Rowell one. There's an Alex Mack pin, Read Fast, Die Young. Uh, a lot of these I got at like Y'all Fest, you know, they just give you like free pins. Here's my Canadian flag. I desperately wanted just a little handheld Canadian flag when I went to Canada this summer. I got that. Here are some little... Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown figurines I found at a flea market in Nashville, and I love them. Look at Charlie. He's got the rock. Just a little rainbow, <coughs> excuse me, that I found at Target in the dollar spot. I've got a couple of books here. Um, I've got 100 Ghosts, Little Rainbow Rowl, uh, Leslie Kinzel, Two Whole Cakes. Would highly recommend that book. 
Um, obviously, I have a Mr. Potato Head. And again, this was my dad's. Uh, and we got this for him several Christmases ago before he passed away. Um, so the, the joke is that my mother used, my mother makes killer potato salad and my dad loved it. And so she would make like a huge bowl of potato salad and he would eat on it all week. And my dad would get on kicks with food where he would just like want to eat one thing all the time. Um, and so he was on a tater salad kick. <laughs> That's what he called it. And, um... So my mom joked that she was going to walk into his bedroom one day and instead of him underneath the covers, there'd just be like a Mr. Potato Head sticking out. And we all thought that was so funny. And so one year I bought him a Mr. Potato Head. Um, and again, when he passed away, I brought that back with me um, so that I could display it and think of him always. Um, this is a little, <laughs> just something that like a little blind box thing I got at Target. Um, a little invisible man that was also a blind box. Um, and here is really what the, what the world is looking for. And that is a full set of the McDonald's Halloween McNuggets from 92 and 96. <laughs> I love these so much. Um, they remind me so very much of my childhood. And my brother is very jealous that I have the whole set and he does not. And he's always trying to get me to give them to him. Uh, another little Polly back here. I actually just recently purchased this one, and I'm just going to hold it up for you to see. It's so cute. It's like a little ballerina. Oh, and this spins. Like, if you had, like, a Polly, you could spin her. Um, a little Pusheen, a little OJ, Amy Reads, obviously. All right, I'm going to sit back down, and now I'm going to actually show you the books and the Funko Pops. All right, so shelf one um, obviously I decided to put sort of my more kiddish, um, like children's Disney, basically Funko Pops on this shelf. I also have some Charlie Brown peanuts ones down there. Um, so up here, of course, I've got Little Mermaid. My friend Jesse just bought me this Ariel, or I'm sorry, this Ursula, which is like metallic. I think it was some kind of comic, com some kind of summer exclusive with Flotsam and Jetsam. And I love it. Uh, I've got my Nightmare Before Christmas, my Wally and Eve. And on this shelf, I have my collection of Babysitter's Club. So at this moment, I have one through 45, like every one of them. And then I definitely have some random ones. And then I also have some of the super specials and the super special mysteries. Um, and I also have some down here before we start with my California Diaries, which if you read The Babysitter's Club, then you may have also read California Diaries, which was the spinoff series that Anna and Martin did when Dawn moves back to California. I was obsessed with them. As you can see, I've got one, two, four, six, seven, nine, eleven, or 13. So I do not have all of them yet. And then I have my collection of Alex Mack books. I'm only missing five from this whole set. I was obsessed with Alex Mack. I wanted to be her very badly. I actually was her for Halloween a few years ago. I will insert a picture. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then I have a couple. Sorry, I'm like sick, so I'm sniffling. Um, I have some Girl Talk books that my cousin gave me. I have some Beverly Clearies. Now, those are actually from my childhood, those Beverly Cleary ones. And then I have some Wishbone. Y'all represent. Love some fucking Wishbone. Um, and then over here I have, uh, like Holiday Inn, Return to Holiday Inn, The Celery Stocks at Mid Midnight, Binocula, uh, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, a Clue novelization, um, a Goosebumps book, let's see if, I don't think you can really see, Jonathan Livingston Seagull, Wayside Story, and a couple Gilmore Girls adaptations on that shelf as well. Um, and then I'll back up here and you can see my Beauty and the Beast Funko Pops, have a couple different versions of Belle. Um, and then I just have a Mickey. I have Sleeping Beauty, uh, Alice, and Rapunzel. And down here, I'm not gonna like get in the floor. So the stack to the left is, I'm not gonna get all of those out and show you. Some of those are actually from my childhood. Um, and some of them I have found at used bookstores. But most of them, honestly, are from my childhood. Um, and that's just, you have a lot of Berenstain Bears books, um, like picture books and things like that. And then I do have this um, Christmas Charlie Brown, 
which I adore. And then I have my Charlie Brown. I have one set of Charlie Brown Funkos down there. I have another set um, on my regular shelves. And then I also have uh, the Halloween ones. So I'll back up a little bit so that you can get a better view. So this is my whole children's bookshelf and all of my toys. So that is it guys. Um, that is my children's bookshelf and most of the toys in my in my library. Now you will see uh, right behind me I have uh, some shelves with Funkos on them. Um, you all have already seen those. I do have a whole Funko Pop uh, video that I filmed like sometime early last year when I had them all in boxes. So I will link that down below. But they're all the same ones that I've had before. Um, and then I do have some on my shelves, but you can basically see, so you can see the Hocus Pocus ones and Rosie from the Jetsons, but you can basically see those in my normal videos. So I didn't include those. Um, but anyway, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And as always, I'll be back soon with more book talk. Bye. Bye.